Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Tuesday night, May the 5th. It's 8.24 p.m. I have an article here someone sent me in the email, and it's in a publication known as Signs of the Last Days. And I believe I've shared a couple things from them in the past. This one's, uh, the article is titled, Pope backs artificial intelligence in Vatican meeting with IBM and Microsoft. Now why would you think that the leader of a church would need that? And they show a picture of some kind of robot, woman, I reckon, wearing a very satanic looking thing on her head. It's disgusting, an outfit. Uh, gross. All right. The Pope of the Worldwide Roman Church, and they are the leaders of the world, by the way. Uh, I threw that in. That's not what it says. The Pope of the Worldwide Roman Church met with leaders of IBM and Microsoft at the Vatican, where he backed their philosophy of using artificial intelligence in the world. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is computer intelligence in machines driven by software that can autonom autonomously, autonomously analyze its environment and make decisions in a way that mimics human beings. Yeah, I'll bet it does. Or better. Or quicker. Not for our good. Thank God we won't be here for this. AI, I hope, Jesus come quickly. AI is already infiltrating the human existence with supercomputers, interactive digital assistants as Siri and Alexa, facial recognition, and robotics. At the meeting in the Vatican, the Pope met John Kelly III, an IBM Executive Vice President, and Microsoft President Brad Smith, where IBM and Microsoft agreed with the Vatican for a set of ethical principles in an approach to AI for humanity. And they got to worry about those ethical principles of particular concern was that artificial intelligence as a technology most adept at mimicking the best and worst of human qualities could be used for humanity's greater good or as a force for evil in its impact on society. Now, given what we know about the Catholic Church and who the Pope really is and the Jesuits and all of them, which way do you think it's going to go? My guess is that it would go to the worst of the human qualities and could be used for humanity's greater good, probably not, or as a force for evil in its impact on society. That would be my thought. IBM Executive Kelly made a call for leaders of the world's great religions as well as he, 
IBM executive? Why? Why, Jasper? Why? Why would they have to have all... Why would the IBM executive, Kelly, have to make a call for leaders of all the world's great religions, as well as right-minded companies, right-minded, as in Republicans, right-minded companies, governments, and organizations everywhere to join in the effort around the use of AI in the world. The Roman Church is no stranger to artificial intelligence as it has focused on the technology to where even an order of priests has supported research into it. So, one of the orders of priesthood has supported research into it. If you didn't understand what that meant. There are different orders, just like there are different orders of nuns. Some take vows of silence. Others just take vows of chastity. And some have vows of, uh, like they go off to some secluded place and vow to never leave or talk to anybody outside of that you know that makes it a cult you know doesn't it I think the whole thing is they say if you don't join them you don't go to heaven that's just nuts okay so let's move on um so okay some one of the orders of priests has supported research into it. All right. Let me check my, my position. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Oh, what is it, Jasper? He's going to he's gonna give a little gruffs at somebody yelling outside. <laughs> it's okay. I know you can't look outside from here, can you, poor baby? Okay, um, I'll have to fix it where he can get in a chair and look outside. Also, the Vatican's P Pontifical Academy for Life, the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences, and the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, oh, the Social Sciences the Academy for Life and the Academy of Sciences have hosted conferences on robotics and artificial intelligence. My, my. With these attended by high-powered technology executives as DeepMind CEO Demis, D-E-M-I-S, is that Demis? or Demis Hassabis, Facebook computer scientist Jan LeCun, and the Pope himself meeting with Microsoft President Brad Smith, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, and Google's Eric Schmidt. Now that's spooky. They're coming right out and telling us the Pope attended a meeting with these people. Now doesn't that sound a little odd to some of y'all? It does to me. He's supposed to be like the highest priest up that there could be. He's meeting with scientists about how to get robotics into the Vatican. How to best use it for the new world order. How about that? So it's not surprising that there is a convergence of the Vatican's vision for artificial intelligence with that of the technology giants in a belief that the technology has a place for use in humanity. Yeah, it does. Uh, robots could be good uh, caregivers, you know. 
they wouldn't grumble and complain. They would just do their job and be nice and be done with it and go on about their business to the next person. Anyway, that's one use that we could use them for here. I wouldn't keep quitting on you. Anyway, and the Roman church through the centuries has made statues in the image of people that they wanted to venerate with honor in their worship. And they have also claimed miraculous signs of life happening with their statues to where the images were said to have wept tears or even blood as an interaction with people of faith causing religious fervor. Yes, and demons did that because that church is full of evil. And I'm sorry if any of you are Catholic, especially if you're new and you don't know. The, the Catholic church is at the epitome of evil in the world. And it's all covered over. It's a mirage. All the, the ritualistic things they do. If, when you attend a mass, you go in. I don't know if they still do. We genuflected. You, you got down on one knee and you made the sign of the cross as you got up. And then you went and took a seat in the pew. And each pew was made where they were far enough between that at a certain point in the service, you would kneel down on your little personal kneeler. Everybody had their own little kneeler. I don't know if they still do, but we did when I was growing up. And part of the ritual was that when the priest said to do it, you knelt down on there and then prayed in Latin. And then by the time I was in high school, they switched to English. So... That dates me. That would have been back in about 69 or 70, somewhere in there. They, they were going with all English. All right, let me move on. Um, but these things that happened with these statues, I am positive, absolutely, 100% sure, they, it was demonic. Satan had... Satan hangs out in the Vatican. He can certainly have his demons hanging out in the Catholic churches. Okay, so the, the, the statues caused a religious fervor, such as the Roman church case of Audrey Santo for sainthood, where there have been reports of statues and pictures Weeping in her former home. I wonder what statues she had. What pictures did she have? Maybe of Jesus? Anyway, moving on. Could it be that artificial intelligence could be used in a future image? as a way to interact with masses. That means lots of people, not in the mass, which is what they call their church service, and encourage their faith and desired outcomes. So what are they going to have? Artificial intelligence making statues cry and and bleed out of their eyeballs because that's what that one was doing I'll, I'll tell you what this is pretty long and it just goes on and on and I will leave the link it's signs of the last days dot org and then it's long after that but it is signs of the last days dot org if you wanted to go there if you can't read the description box, and the title is Pope Backs Artificial Intelligence in Vatican Meeting with IBM and Microsoft. And it 
doesn't say who wrote it. Just general. Signs of the Last Days at Ministry, April 29th. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I guess it'd be all right if I took a picture of this little robot person here. I'll put it as my... And she's in the middle of a target. I wonder why that is. Okay. All right. So with that, I'll say um, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the Internet Connection, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and your Internet Connections. All right. Don't forget to turn off your Wi-Fis and your cell phones when you're not using them. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.